who's ready to do some fishing. I need coffee. I need it. I wanted to give thanks to Black Coffee Co. for sending me these. Blackout Coffee Co. for sending me this coffee. Oh, it's going to save me. I probably should have used the espresso for the espresso machine, but uh, it's too early. I messed up. Mm. All right, let's see how this coffee tastes. <sighs> so smooth, so breakfasty. Uh, some of you might know this already, but I actually own 15% of a coffee company. And they don't even send me samples anymore, probably because I drank so much of it. But thank you Blackout Coffee Co. for sending me those two bags. It tastes great. Before I tell you what kind of fishing we're going to do today, I wanted to do a little update. Last night I was up pretty late looking at places in Key Largo. And hopefully within like two months I should be living back in Key Largo again. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm working on it. And I am stoked. The only problem is all the rentals I'm finding are like between two and three thousand dollars for anything that has some kind of dock access and two bedrooms. Because I, I'm looking for at least two or three bedrooms because I need an office and I need a place for friends and, f and family to come. So I need two or three bedrooms. I want to have a dock to where I can keep my boat. So. All of a sudden, when you need those two things, anything I can find is like two or three grand a month. If you know anyone that has a rental down in Key Largo, have them email me at heiko at southfordfishingchannel.com. That would really help me out. If I can keep it under $2,500 a month, that would be really great. If you want to buy my boat, I am selling it for $20,000. The boat runs great and I love that boat but I'm working on a sponsorship so I'm probably gonna have a new boat soon yeah! <laughs> so I am selling the 236 cc key Largo it's got a 200 horsepower mercury engine if you or you know anyone interested shoot me an email I will also include my the new GPS system that I installed on it with the uh, the Simrad unit on there. All my spots are on there. I have the new sound system and the new sound unit on there. It's ready to go. It's ready to be fished. It runs. I've proven that that, that boat can go offshore real far. And I'm probably going to cry when I sell it, but I, there's no point in me having two boats, is there? Also, I'm going to spice the deal up a little bit for 20 six grand i will also throw my range rover into the mix i will not sell the range rover by itself for six grand but if you want my boat and my range rover 26 grand that that rover can sell for at least 10 grand on craigslist but last year i listed it for 14 grand on craigslist i had like three people look at it they're all like i want it but i don't have the money 
and I just don't have the time with my business to to be on Craigslist and talking back and forth with people and so if you want to do it go ahead 26 grand boat and Range Rover it's a freaking great deal um the reason I'm selling the Range Rover I paid like four times that for the Range Rover plus I put about 15 grand into it over the last three years new airbag suspension new AC I had a few things done to the engine it's a supercharged, it's a bad beast, but um, I don't like having it in the keys because I always have these big fishy coolers and now with hunting I have, you know, like a, a big pig or a big boar and it's like, I don't want to put it in the back of my Range Rover. I would rather have a truck or something, so that's why I am selling my boat and my Range Rover, but that does not mean that I'm not going to have a boat and a nice car. I'm just... Sometimes you just gotta push one thing to the side and take in the new. There's something on the road. Eleven thirty four. Where is that? Galleon Lane. I just put the address in my phone and it's 0.2 miles away. This way. I don't know, maybe it fell out of the back of Postman's car or something. Tyler's going to be fishing with me today and he just told me he's running a tad late. So I thought, oh, I got a f five or ten minutes. I'll go deliver this. It feels like a book. It's so tempting to open these things, but I know better than that. Come on, I go just a peek. Just a peek. No, I can't. This guy's really been working on making his garden pretty. Look how pretty that is. Look at that rabbit. That was me 15 years ago discovering what wild game was. Old Galleon Lane. That's it. That's the one. Do any of these buildings have numbers on them? Oh, that's it right there. I don't want to walk up on their property. Hmm. If I don't catch a fish now after all that good karma, then I quit. I quit fishing. I don't think I could ever quit fishing. I broke my broke my arm right there getting towed behind a dirt bike on a skateboard several years back if you don't already know my name is Heiko Winkler this is the South Florida fishing channel let's start fishing in this episode we are fishing the east coast of Florida here in Vero Beach right along this coast and then after we fish the beach we will move down to Round Island located right here where we will fish on our paddle boards along these mangroves. It's the turbo money shot right there. <laughs> Those weights are so good, dude. They do not move. It's gonna be real flat. I can feel it. There's no wind. There's birds. There's birds. <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of birds. That means there's bait. Oh, I can see the bait out there. There's pelicans everywhere. They're going to be. Holy smokes! Holy smokes, I should have brought two rods. What, I, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? <laughs> I don't know if I want to run the pompano rig or, or cast a lure out there. There's bait and pelicans everywhere.
There goes Tyler. You can always count on Tyler to have the first rod in the water. I was gonna use sand fleas, but I don't see any sand fleas, so I have these old scallops that I'm gonna put on the pompano rig. This is a pompano rig I'm using. Some scallops. Fuck. All the scallops fell off. Puppy! <laughs> excited little boy oh he found the scallops it's a seaweed day no no the scallops are not staying on the hook all right little mullet pieces Hope the seaweed's not gonna be an issue. Tyler is chucking out a mullet. Maybe we'll catch a shark on that. I'm gonna tie on this saltwater bomber here. What she got there? Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel. Little guy. On the spoon, eh? On the spoon. Woo! Wonder if there's any bigger boys out there. I'm hoping so. Well, see what this guy does. Oh, you're on already? Hey, -o. oh man, I think they're probably all gonna be pretty little. Yeah, man. Looks like another baby mackerel. All right. Back at the pompano rig. Fingers crossed. Dang it, so much seaweed. So much seaweed. No bait, just seaweed. Dang it, what do we do in this situation? I don't know, man. Oh, got like 20 pounds of seaweed on here. You feel them on there? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's on. No, he was. Oh. How to salvage the day. How to salvage the day. Something's on it. Yeah, you got something? Yeah. There goes Tyler, checking out another shark bait. I caught a seaweed monster. Let's kill it. Are you kidding me? Tyler, seaweed or a shark? Oh. Uh, I, ca I caught a seaweed shark too. You pretend like you're reeling in a shark. Pretend like you're reeling in a shark. It'll feel good. Woo! Moving down the beach, find me some peaches right here. That ain't no good. Hey, that one might be big enough to get mounted. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this really shouldn't come out. Yeah, no, those boards definitely ain't coming out. All right. It's got a lot of down pressure and yeah. you know what I'm saying? Sweet. Forgot my sunglasses. Oh, 
Ooh. Apple juice time. It's apple juice time. Apple juice. Apple juice 30. Be fine. I got, I carry my wallet on my phone. Question is, do I want? Hmm. Hmm. Everything is looking gravy. Here's your apple juice. Sweet. Hmm. Kick us off right. All right, we are at Round Island. About to do some kayak or some paddleboard fishing now, since all that seaweed in the uh, ocean. We're backing up to the Round Island uh, beach launch right now. Woohoo! There's that so was, much seaweed. That was the most terrible thing I've ever been through. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of seaweed this morning. The sargassus stuff, right? Mm hmm. Mm, if you want your chicken sandwich. Yeah, I'm gonna wolf it down real quick. Yeah, go for it. Got my phone in my pocket. Ooh, the water is chilly. Just a little bit. Yeah, there's some wind. I've seen sheep's head right under here before, but I have a hard time getting sheep's head to uh, bite my lip those fake lures. Yeah, they only want shrimp and crab. Yeah. Oh. That was a fail. Dude, this is good snook territory, like, all this overhanging brush. I know. That's what I was trying to get. I was trying to get a, a cast straight down all this overhanging stuff. This wind's really kicking us. Chucking like a live shrimp up in these mangroves would be so killer. Yeah. Oh, this is... Oh, dude! Something big just swirled right there. Probably a redfish. Dang. Wow, that was some nice skips. Something just spooked right under me. Just over here having a quarterly board meeting. <laughs> quarterly board meeting. <laughs> Trying to figure out what lures to run. Look, you got the Cadillac of lures now. I had to shorten it up because I had a, a loose spot in there, but if you shorten it up just a tad, it'll get tight again. It finds all new holes. This has already been tagged by something with teeth. Yeah, yeah. Where were you using this last? Uh, probably in the river. Got all sorts of goodies in there. Look at that thing, dude. Yeah, that looks good. Looks in distress. Yeah, it looks like it. You just got whacked. Did you see that? That was a big ass lady just did. Really? He came oh. up and tried to grab it three times. <laughs> he missed it like. Oh, dude, it was! It's a big lady! Oh. Got whacked by like a very small snapper. He was tiny. Oh, yeah, dude. I think that is a gator. Wait. It's kind of big. Holy shit, Tyler, that is a gator. It just went under. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I think my GoPro might have caught that. <laughs> Just a little sketchy. How big was that thing? Yeah, it looked pretty freaking big to me. Does that mean this is a fishy area? <laughs> I'm gonna try to snag it for you. All right, if a big gator came out of the water right now and grabbed me, you would save me, right? I would have whatever I could do. <laughs> <laughs> Collision course. Nice. Deflected. I was like, there's a gator. No, you pointed it out and I looked at it and I'm like, that's not it. And then I was like, oh snap, yes it is. <laughs> the longer I looked at it, the bigger it got. I wonder where it's at right now. 
I'll hit it in the head with this thing. Schwack! Whatever it takes while drinking four loco. All right, Tyler spotted the gator again. Bro, you sent your snook bus right there. Yeah, that was a snook bus. <laughs> it looked like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic. Nah. We didn't catch any fish, but we're gonna catch a buzz. On the magic carpet. And cook a burger. Uh, yeah. You'd be a. You'd no, you only get 24 bucks. You can do it. buy like nine beers. Hey, yeah, let's get this. Yeah, grab that. I'll clean it up. How many beers oh, wait, are sorry, there to sorry, drink? Come here, he's gonna send this to Alex. Yo. Hey. Come on, smile, you two. Hey. hey. There we go. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Shit, that's hot. You biting into that? Yo, Chris, that's that's so hot. It's delicious though. Oh yeah, my God. it is. It is. Alexa. Tyler, that's number three today. Number three. I'm <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Nerds. Kitty pies. It's actually quite impressive how he got all the way up there. It's his toes for fingers. Tyler! Yes. If he fall, I'll catch you. No. Okay. Fall, bro. Good point. Because I'm not going to wow. catch you. Tony, come on, bro. You know I'm not going to fall. I'm getting knocked down there. Get up again. <laughs> Tyler, are you getting down? Because I'm pretty old now. Who'd you laugh at, Heiko? <laughs> Dude, huh. the only reason he can do that is because he has toes for fingers. That's good. He's trained well. He's a trained. You team. climb that whole tree, Tyler? Well, I know that wasn't really a catch and cook, but we we did catch some buzzes and we did eat some cooked chicken. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know what? It was a great time with some great friends, and really, that's to me what that's a big part of fishing is it's not really just all about the fish that you catch and I hope maybe through watching my videos you can see that there's a lot of fun stuff around fishing. Also I wanted to give a reminder if you don't already know I have another YouTube channel called Just My Name Heiko Winkler. I'm actually running a special deal for one of my programs on there so if you're interested in knowing what I do uh, for for my personal life and for work. It's more of like a vlog style YouTube channel Feel free to check it out and if you uh, like the videos you see on it give it a like give it a subscribe and Yep, you can always count on me to upload a fishing video every Tuesday between 2 p.m. And 7 p.m. Here on the South Florida fishing channel and head over to the Heiko Winkler channel if you want to learn a little bit more about what it is I do the last video I posted called I think the tip of the week, the real YouTube profits course. Check that video out if you want to jump on the special deal that I'm currently offering for uh, my subscribers. I'm giving away a hundred spots to a course that I built and I believe there's 35 spots left. So definitely check those out. Cheers everybody and thanks for watching. Yeah.